All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a factory reset for the LG K7 and the LG Tribute 5 LTE. That's the LG Tribute 5 LTE. These have got the same procedures, so I'm just gonna uh, knock out two of them with one stone. Okay, so pretty much all you're gonna do, if you have access to the phone still, you can just go ahead and go into your settings right here. Hit settings. Go into your general. And then we're going to scroll up and that's going to be back up and reset. So you'd hit here and then it's going to ask you, you know, do you want to back up, uh, auto restore, different things. You can select what you want and it has right here factory data reset. Now this is the easy way if you have it, if you have access to your phone. So you can just go ahead and do it that way if you can get into your phone. But most people need to do a factory hard reset because they forgot their password, their pattern password or whatever um, sometimes I just want to uh, swipe everything and just reboot and start from the beginning so if that's the case let's get out of here if that's the case what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to first power of the phone off so there's the power button and we're gonna just shut it down regular we should be getting a holding the power button now Okay, so now it just says power off, so I'm just going to go ahead and power it off. Okay. Okay. And just remember, this is for the LG K7 and the LG Tribute 5 LTE. The LTE, okay? They have the same procedure. So I'm just going to do them both. Okay, so what we want to do here now, since it's off, what we're going to do is make sure it's powered off. Sometimes you can take the battery out if you want, but it's fine. So... What we're going to do here is we're going to hold the down volume button. Then we're going to hold the power button, okay? So we're going to do that at the same time. So once we hold the, the, power, the volume down button and hold the power button, it's going to show the LG. As soon as it shows that, we're going to release the power button one time and then hold the power button again, okay? So let's do it. So I'm going to start out. Let me show you here. So we're going to hold the power button or the volume button down. Hold the power. Okay, and then let it go. And then push it again. Okay, now we have the screen here. So we're going to just be able to use the. Let's see if we're getting a good picture of that. Okay, so since we have the screen up now, so all we got to do is just use our. Uh, shows right here your volume up and down key. So what we're gonna do is just hit yes, and you're gonna hit your power key to confirm. So your volume up and down, down and up, just go down to yes with your volume key, down, and we're gonna confirm yes, and then we're gonna confirm with the power key, yes. Okay, now it's gonna say, erase all users data and restore default settings. So make sure that you've saved everything you wanted and make sure that you take out the memory card too uh, before you do this uh, just for safety take it out take your memory card out and then uh, you're going to have to have your um, gmail account also all right so take your memory card out so now it's going to swipe everything on here all right so just hit yes erase all user data and restore default settings so we're going to say yes to that and we're going to hit the power key to confirm it. It'll take it a second and there it goes. You see the little Android come up? Now it's going to take it a, a little bit. Just remember that you guys make sure that you have your um, Gmail account so that you can um, restore everything like your um, contacts and if you have any pictures or whatever so make sure you take out your memory card so this is going to take a second a minute or two or so and there we go now it's starting I don't know if you guys are getting a good picture of that
and it just takes it a little bit here. So saying Android is starting, optimizing app one of seven, now it's two of seven. This may take longer depending on the apps. Please do not remove the battery until complete. And so we're moving along pretty good right here. We have four of seven now. I've already uh, factory reset it already one time before. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sell this phone. It's a good phone, but I'm gonna sell it and I think it's something else. So I'll probably just throw it on Craigslist or whatever, see if someone wants to buy it. All right, so here it is. Android starting and finishing. Finishing the boot now. And there it is, you guys. That's it. So you just go back in there and set everything up. All right, you guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.